Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokcha DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use the depends on attribute in a cloud formation template and the difference between implicit and explicit dependencies in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the cloud formation service, then click on create stack with new resources. Here, I'm going to upload a template file called ec2-dynamodb.yaml. In this file, I'm starting with the resources section and defining a resource called web server instance, which is of the type ec2. Under properties, I'm specifying the availability zone, IAM instance profile, and image ID. Attention! For security group IDs, I'm using the ref function with a reference to web server security group, which is defined later in the same template. Note the ref function creates an implicit dependency, which means that the web server security group will be created before the web server instance. On line 10 and 11, I'm specifying the instance type and tags. On line 14, I'm using the depends on attribute to create an explicit dependency on my DynamoDB table. That's what I'm talking about. Which means that the my DynamoDB table will be created before our EC2 instance. On line 16, I'm defining the web server security group resource, which is of the type EC2 security group. Under security group ingress rule, I'm also enabling SSH access via port 22 from anywhere. Keep your formation! Finally, on line 26, I'm defining the my DynamoDB table resource, which we used earlier with the depends on attribute. Under properties, I'm specifying the attribute definitions, key schema, provision throughput, and table name. Let's continue uploading this file, then click next. Give your stack a name, then click next and review your stack options, stack configuration, then hit submit. Your stack should now be in create in progress status. If you hit refresh, we should expect the MyDynamoDB table and the web server security group to be created before the EC2 instance. Company, halt! That's because the EC2 instance explicitly depends on the creation of the DynamoDB table and implicitly depends on creation of the security group. Give it a few minutes and your stack status should eventually change to create underscore complete. If you look at the events history, you can confirm that the creation of the web server EC2 instance only started after both the security group and the DynamoDB table were successfully created. Next, let's navigate to the resources tab and click on the physical ID of our EC2 instance and the DynamoDB table to confirm that they're both up and running. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.